In today's episode, we're going to be talking about liquidity, why it is important and why you should care when investing in Pokemon products. My name is Half and today we're going to be talking about liquidity. Let's just start talking about what liquidity is. In order to understand it better, I'm going to try to use some Pokemon terminology in order to explain what liquidity is and hopefully I will uh, convey the message clear and not confuse you more. Uh, but let's imagine you think about the word liquidity as a whole. When you think about liquidity, what is the first thing that comes up in your mind? It's probably water, right? So something liquid, something that it's, it's, it's in a liquid state. Let's put, for example, a bucket that it's empty, okay? Let's just imagine that you have an empty bucket and you have a squirrel. So you take out a squirrel and you're like, hey, squirrel, I need to fill up this bucket of water. So go and go for it. So a squirrel fills up that bucket and now you have a full bucket of water and uh, you decide that, okay, I'm going to just turn around. So what will happen when you turn around that bucket of water? You're probably thinking, well, it's just going to fall over, right? Yeah, and that's correct. When you think about the word liquid, liquidity, water, uh, it's something that flows, right? It's something that flows. So when we turn up the bucket, all the water just fell down. Um, <clears throat> now, let's say, for example, we ask a squirrel to fill that bucket again and we then take out our um, Gyarados and we tell our Gyarados, okay, use Ice Bean on that bucket. Well, what will happen to that bucket? It will just completely froze. And uh, when you turn that bucket around, what will happen? Nothing, right? The water will just be completely frozen in there and you will not be able to pour the water anymore. So, as you can see in that example, Liquidity refers on how fast an acid actually moves. In this case, in the bucket, when an acid is very liquid, it will just sell very quickly. If the acid is not very liquid, it will just get stuck like in that bucket and you will not be able to sell it quickly. All right, so now we understand, hopefully, what liquidity is based on my super example of that Gyarados and Squirtle and the bucket. I was planning to use just a a water, a glass of water example, but that was kind of boring. So uh, hopefully you understand it. And if you didn't, please let me know in the comment section uh, what you didn't understand or if you have any questions, okay? So now we know what liquidity is. Let's go into why it's important. Liquidity is important because if you don't know how fast an acid can be sold, it's going to be hard for you to predict in the future how fast you will get that return of investment. And what I mean with that is, let's put for example, the stock market. In the stock market, when people are investing in stocks from different companies, they, they, um, they basically buy a stock from Apple, for example, or Amazon, which is a little bit of a piece of the company. And then you can resell that at any time, at any given time that you want, and someone will buy it, right? So liquidity is how fast you can sell that stock. For Amazon, Apple, Facebook, companies that are very big and sought after, you don't have a problem in actually selling those stocks quickly. But for companies that are less big or less known or that it's less demand on that stock, it's going to be hard for you to actually sell them. <coughs> So what happens when, a, when an asset is less liquid? It means that it moves slow. It means that the demand is probably not there, okay? And that is the key part here. Let's put a simple example. I'm going to go to the computer. We're going to look into a couple of different cards and we're going to analyze the liquidity of those items. Now, a lot of those items will be analyzed on the tools that I showed in the previous video. So if you haven't checked out the previous video, please go ahead and check it out. Uh, I will leave a link in the description and probably somewhere in the eye icon. All right, so now we are in the computer and uh, let's go, as I said before, to EB, uh, to EB, <laughs> to eBay. <laughs> too much Pokemon people, too much Pokemon. <laughs> we should open at a marketplace called EB, that would be awesome. Anyway, uh, so here in our eBay, Let's say, for example, we have a base set Charizard, okay? Let's look at, at, at an item that actually has a lot of liquidity. 
So as you can see, based Charizard, there's plenty of them available, right, for sale. So there's volume, there's volume because there's a lot of, of available item. And now let's go, as I said on the previous video, to the sold and completed items. What this will do is it will basically show us how often a base set Charizard has been selling, okay? So in this case, we can see September 2nd, <clears throat> so just even to today, which is the recording of this video, September 2nd, um, one was sold, a first edition one was sold September 2nd, September 2nd, September 2nd, September 2nd, September 2nd, as you can see, there's a lot of sales going on and it's just today, right? This means that basically base set Charizard is a very liquid asset. All right, so now let's look at something else. Let's say we want Suikun Neo Revelation in Japanese, right? I love Japanese cards, by the way. Um, if you like Japanese cards, make, let me know in the comments. Let me know which is your favorite Japanese Pokemon card, because I just simply love them. I love the promos and everything, but that's going out of topic. Let's go in here. So let's say we wanted the Suikun Neo Revelation in Japanese. Can we get that uh, uh, as, a, as a very liquid item? Well, I don't think so. As you can see from here, there was one sold September 1 and it was a full collection. It was not even the, the card itself. Then we have another one here for 1350 that was sold August 31st. Then we have August 29, another one was sold PSA, then August 25, August 24, 24, 23, 20. So as you can see, the item doesn't sell that often, right? It sells less often than that, that Charizard. So this item is less liquid, which means it's going to be a little bit harder to actually sell it when you want to sell it, or there's less demand for it. But let me put another example. Uh, uh, Poliwag base set two. All right, let's see how often Poliwag sells. <laughs> so we have one sold on September 1st, uh, another one on June 23rd, another one on July 7. So this is even less liquid, right? Because it's harder to sell. And as you can see from these examples, hopefully you now understand that there's several levels of liquidity, which means that in order to know how fast you're going to sell this item, you need to do your homework. Liquidity is how fast you will be able to sell an asset when you have it in your possession. How fast you can turn that a specific asset into cash. And why it's important is because if you do your homework and anal analyze that asset today, hopefully it will give you an understanding of the demand of that asset. Now, liquidity can change over time, so be very careful with that and keep analyzing liquidity of your portfolio from time to time. But it's important to know that if you go and see that liquidity is less in certain items, then probably those items are going to grow less over time. And the reason why they're growing less over time is because there's less interest in them. While when you have Pokemon products that are more liquid, like that base it's Charizard, you're going to have a, a growth that, it, that it's more steady over time. Um, we can go over into a sealed product as well, and I will leave that into a different video where we will be analyzing sealed product and, and the difference between sealed product and cards. But sealed product also has the same, the same um, it, it applies the same to sealed product, where you need to check the liquidity and you need to, to check how much uh, it sells over time in order to understand how fast and how much price it might increase uh, when you're investing in that particular item. Hopefully you understand a little bit better of why liquidity is important. If you really understood the concept, give me a thumbs up or if you simply like the video, give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe, hit that notification bell so that you can get informed every time I post a new video. I hope to see you in the next video where we will be talking about the difference between a flipper, a collector, an investor, or an speculator, and why it's very important to understand the difference between those four and to understand where you're at in that space in order to make better decisions. Until next time, remember collectors, gotta collect them all.